I think that, you know, it wasn't, you know, there's certainly that's, that's a, a part of it, uh, our ability to, to score touchdowns down there. You know. But it, it's much more than that. You know, we, we have to play better on defense and we have to, you know, be able to run the football and do the things that we've done around here that we know um, is going to help us win. So red zone offense is, is something that uh, has been a factor in helping us win. But just, you know, there were some other things as well. Disappointed that we lost, you know, and for all the factors that that we lost, but that that's my number. Just disappointed that we lost, and well, we'll have to come back next week and you know get some of those things fixed. Like nothing, you know. I mean, short yardage run that you know we got out of there, and you know, we, had, we had some other opportunities to get off the field though on third down. And but when they it seemed like when they needed to to run the football, they were they were able to. Uh, so certainly frustrating. No, it's never about one player, but was there any thoughts of potentially pulling Christian Cole from the job? Yeah, there was there was thought. You know, I thought you know, wanted Christian to challenge and you know do his job. And you know, the double move is one thing. You know, I mean, they double moved him, and you know, I coached him even at halftime. I said if they double move you, you know, try to make sure that you're square and that you're, uh, you know, that's how we can play it. And the referee thought he slid over, you know, late, but. Uh, you know, we just got to make sure that we keep our eyes on our man and and not uh, not in the backfield. You know, man coverage. It's we're not going to intercept the football in man coverage. Uh, our job in man coverage is to not let our guy catch the ball. And you know, if the ball gets tipped, then the post safety is going to probably intercept it. But we can't go, you know, looking for interceptions in man coverage. You just your eyes will be in the backfield too much. No, I think there were, I mean, I know there were some guys out of their gaps, guys jumping around trying to make plays. And, you know, what we got to do is we, we got to set an edge, build a wall, uh, and swarm and tackle. And I'm sure there'll be some missed tackles, but I, I know that there were some, some, some gaps in the wall. Uh, I know on one there was, a, there was an edge. Uh, and, again, the big one uh, probably makes it look uh, worse than what it was because there was probably a lot of two-yard gains and one-yard gains. Like I said, 56 or whatever they had was on one. Uh, but then there were some other times that I felt like when they needed to run it, they ran it, and you know they were able to, to push us in there in the end zone. Mike, how big was that string of the second half? You come out with a great drive to take Not big enough. Not, yeah, not big enough, right? So uh, great drive and you know, then just not being able to come back there and do enough with it defensively. The, the, the red zone, you know what I mean? We had first and 20 down there. Self-inflicted wounds and, you know, just, you know, I thought we protect. I thought we threw the football. I thought we were productive. You know, we need to be able to run it. And, uh, you know, when we get down there, you know, score. You know, we had close play to, to hop, you know, with Derek and didn't convert it. Like, so whatever that problem is, I don't know. I tried to hit a hit a play and didn't hit it. Hey, you have a second to talk to Christian. You know what I mean? Like what I told you, his eyes were in the backfield on the one with Pittman. You can ask Christian. Like other than that, I'm not. You can ask him as soon as I finish up. Well, just trying to, you know, being able to hop the back over. I thought, you know, we were trying to find a spot where we wanted to run it. Um, well, just didn't get it, didn't pick it up. Thought we'd, thought we'd obviously get it. And that's why we went for it. Um, you know, and Ryan tried to move Derek over, and, and we didn't pick it up. Well, we need to be able to pick up, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to block them all, but, you know. You know, have to try to stay on there and gain a yard. You know, short yardage sometimes is a little dirty, and you know, make sure everybody's covered up. And you know, they tackled us, and we didn't get it. I, mean, I don't think that was the the game. I thought we had opportunity to get the ball back and go score, and you know, we didn't stop them until a minute left with no timeouts. Well, I mean, no. 
the one we blitzed them and the ball wobbled and the guy caught, you know what I mean? We're in man coverage. But it wasn't there today. It was it was there last week. So what are we gonna just, you know, I mean go back and forth like it wasn't there today, that's all I was saying. But like, some of the issues have been pretty consistent in the wall. You usually are. That's why you lose. Right? That's you know, so if you don't score in the red zone and you don't stop the run and you don't get off on third down, you, you you're probably gonna lose. I don't I'm not trying to be Funny it by any means, but though that's what happens, and you know, makes it really hard to to win. Are you concerned that those things aren't? When we don't do them, sure I'm concerned, right? You know what I mean? I got to go find out why, and you know, was it? Pre- you know what I mean? They blocked us too. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, you know. So we'll figure out why they blocked us, and you know, I mean, it's, we we were we had pass rushers and guys going, and they will figure out what what it was, and you know how we can be better. It's frustrating, you know what I mean? You try to get on a streak and um, try to get something going and try to talk to them about the things that you do when you win and try to, you know, validate it. That was the whole message the entire week was validating how we need to play and what we need to do. Uh, it, t- Tart wasn't available, you know what I mean? Uh, so, we, I don't know what to tell you. You know, he wasn't wasn't healthy enough to play, and uh, yeah, he's he's helped us. You know what I mean? When he's at his best, he's helped us. But I don't I don't know what that means for today. He wasn't out there today. Well, the message is validated, and just collectively failed to validate. It. Well, we didn't we didn't we didn't we lost the game. You know what I mean? We lost the game. So you can drum it up. No. I mean, obviously not. You know, I mean, obviously, there were things that we did that were, you know, exactly how we want to do them, and then there was too many things that that weren't good enough. And uh, you know, you put a lot into each every each and every week, and uh, you, you go out and compete, and you have to try to make some adjustments, try to make some big plays, critical moments. Um, they made more than we did. Yep. That was one of the things that I mentioned earlier. I thought we protected well enough and threw it well enough, um, you know, today. And so that was a good thing. And you know, we took care of the ball. I mean, the, the last play, you know, man, was we were running out of time. I don't know what other options Ryan had, but you know, we didn't we didn't create any turnovers on defense. And you know, we we got to play better on defense. Have to go back and take a look. Um, a couple times, felt like we got behind the sticks. You know, had the penalty on the one, put us into a, um, you know, first and twenty, second and, and twenty type situation, um, which obviously is, is tough down there on the field condensed. Um, feel like in one of the earlier drives we got behind the sticks as well. So, um, you know, just gotta be efficient down there. Obviously, those yards are crucial down in the red zone, just like they are uh, all over the field, but. You get down there, everything gets a little more condensed and, and harder to come by. So, you know, you give give free yards to the defense in those situations. It's tough. You know, we got to find a way to finish those drives. Um, had opportunities, uh, didn't execute well enough down there, and, um, you know, came up short. That fourth and one down there on the five, what did they do defensively to snuff that Yeah, they did a good job. They played a six month front and, and um, they won the line of scrimmage. So, um, you know, Tough, tough look there for Derek, and I uh, have to give credit to them. Did you feel like they were consistently winning the line scrimmage? No, no, I don't. I, I think that um, you know we had some good running plays. We had some efficient runs. We didn't have a, a big, you know, home run, but we had efficient runs, five, four, five, six yarders. You know, c- kind of consistently throughout the game, uh, we were able to to hit a bunch of our runs and, and stay efficient, stay ahead of the stick, so to speak, and opened up the rest of our playbook. You know, so. Um, I don't think they, they dominated the line of scrimmage throughout the game. I think our, our guys did a pretty good job, had time in the pocket for, for most of the game, um, besides so there at the end. Um, so, you know, I feel like our guys did a, a good job of, of 
playing strong on the line of scrimmage, but you know they uh, they made a play that one play. Yeah, we're working. We're working for it. You know, you know, we've had flashes of it, but we haven't been consistent. You know, so that's going to be um, the work that we have to put in is, is being consistent, being able to play our type of ball week in and week out, and um, and take the question marks out. Oh, it's huge! It's that extra half second makes all the difference. You know. Um, you know, a few plays where he had to move a little bit to, to get himself open. Um, you know, had some play action plays where he was able to get behind the defense. So, um, you know, if we're able to, to have that extra half second, then feel really confident we'll find a good place to go with the football and, and make a play. Yeah, just going out and executing and, and putting a full game together, you know. I, I feel like we moved the ball. We did a lot of good things offensively throughout the game. But we got to finish with sevens and not threes when we get down in the red zone and, and got to come away with points every time we're down there. So, um, you know, a lot, a lot of good things we can build on, but obviously have to be more efficient in the red zone. Yeah, I don't think it's been a – a thing all year or anything, I'd have to take a look at the numbers. But uh, you know, I feel like we've been pretty efficient down there. Got got touchdowns when we've got down there a good amount of the time. But you know, today that that wasn't the case. Yeah, it's extremely frustrating. You know, we're gonna gonna start stacking some wins. Uh, you can't go one for one throughout the season and, and get to where you want to go. So. Um, this team has to respond. We have to come in. Um, tough week this week, you know, going to, to London on the road, you know, new environment, new situation, but it doesn't matter. going to have to find a way to, uh, to get a win this week and then, you know, hopefully start stacking some after that. Uh, we didn't play well enough to win the game. You know, obviously we did, we did some good things. We moved the ball, but uh, if you don't score more points than the other team, then you didn't play well enough to win. So, um, got to find a way to do that next week. Yeah, he's been huge. Came up big today. Uh, made some big plays for us, and you know, throughout the game, um, has a good feel for what we're trying to do and, and getting himself open. Was able to to use his savviness a, a couple times on uh, finding some open space and, and taking advantage of it. Maybe that wasn't exactly drawn up th that way. So. Um, Doing a lot of good things, you know. Um, just have to keep building with him and, and get the other guys involved as well. Thank you. Eric, when it's fourth and one five yard line and you get the ball, you expect to get that 99 times out of 100? Yeah, it just uh, happened for me today. They were the better team, better defense, played a lot better. With the red zone woes, you guys were one, one for four in the red zone. What's, what's happening there? Got to put points in the points on the board. Uh, got to get in the end zone. When we get down there, we got to get, uh, get down there and put, uh, put points. On the board, we didn't do that day. We didn't execute well. Um, they were the better team. Um, we had a better game plan, and they just played overall better. We got to be better. I got to be better. That's going to be the main focus is improving. And we get down there, score TDs in the red zone. There's a heavy emphasis on that by coach. And, you know, we didn't do it today at all. It was, it was offense. Is it more of a mentality, more of an execution? Or what do you think the problem? We got to execute. Got to be locked in. Uh, do little things, write the details, the concepts of the play, um, executing. We had the uh, the pass I uh, overthrew um, DeAndre um, on that. I got to be better. Um, I take full responsibility on that, um, and just got to get points on the board when you're down there, man. It's hard to win in this league, and um, you know we didn't do it today, and that's you know pretty much why they're the better team. How frustrating is this team win one, lose one, win one, lose one? How, how frustrating has that been? Very frustrating. Um, you know you you know you, you want to be that team that start to excel and. Um, Put uh, a couple wins together back to back, and um, you know we've been, you know, not not doing that. So, you know, we just got to lock in, um, refocus, um, figure out ways to be able to do those things, um, and be able to score points as offense when we're in the red zone. Um, put drives together that end, that end the points um, each and every time, and you know, be better uh, collectively and individually. Um, look at what you need to get better at, and try to do that um, moving forward. Derek, on that fourth and one play, were those guys right in that gap as soon as you got the ball? Like, can you kind of tell us what, what you saw on that play? Um, yeah, I just tried to 
find the open hole and once I uh, tried to get north and south, uh, I mean, the, guy, the guys showed up. Um, they just made a, a, a play. They were the better better man today. And, um, you know, uh, we just got to execute better as an offense. Um, that one definitely stung. And, you know, they were just a better team. So. Mike said that one of the messages this week was validation, that you guys need to prove what you did last week you could do again. Yep. You didn't. We what did not. have to prove now? We got we to gotta show that um, who we are. Um, it's it's through the week, and they let it transition. Um, you know, on Sundays. Um, you know, we were on the high last week. Um, played a great game as a whole team, and then you know this week don't look like, don't look like that same team. So I think it's just um, hold each other accountable. Um, make it a uh, make it an emphasis. You know, throughout the week that you know you got to be locked in and let it show on Sunday and you know you can't just live out the week before you know you got to prove it again week after week and I think that you know as long as we try to do those things and you know be locked in and you know uh, make each other better each week then I think we can start off on the right foot but right now it's just too up and down for us. How difficult is it to find consistency Derek in a league that is so Well I think you know um, I think the leaders us we got to got to step up um, um, and you know do everything we can to make everybody better. Um, you know, this is a like you said, a tough league to win in, um, and you know, just gotta be just gotta be locked in and focus on improving. Um, you know, it just sounds like a broken record saying these things over and over again, but you know, I, I believe and, um, and, and truly believe that it'll eventually uh, happen for us. You know, just um, we just gotta find a way, um, break through it, and everything that, that, that we want to happen will happen. But you know, right now it's just. It's our taste right now. We've been on teams that have stacked wins before. Just is there something this team's not doing that maybe those teams did, or is there just nothing you can identify there? Um, I think we just uh, the consistency. You got to be consistent in these leagues to be able to perform on a high level, and I don't think we're doing it right now as a team. And like you said, leaders just got to step up. Um, guys got to be locked in. Um, got to be got to be more focused. Whatever whatever we can do um, as a team and individually, collectively, to be better uh, going into this week and, um, and and so on. You know, we got we got to try to do that. And, when you, when uh, you talk it. about that uh, validation and you say you got to show who you are, who are you guys, and how are you falling short from showing it? Yeah, I think we are who we showed last week, but I think it's just you know we got to. We gotta live it um, each and every day. I don't think it's just gonna it's gonna happen. Um, I think that uh, you know today they were, they were just a better team. We didn't execute the way we need to, but we know how to. So it's just um, you know getting back to that, um, being being focused, and then just playing with confidence and having fun, but knowing that you know we need to get better and, and improve uh, quickly.